Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. Today on the channel, we've got a pretty good one for you. We are taking a look at a laptop that's not charging properly. So my father-in-law dropped off his laptop the other day. Uh, it's not charging. It's got a uh, blinking light. Uh, indicating that there's an issue so we're going to do some troubleshooting and take a look at this thing so uh, we've got a Lenovo IdeaPad uh, it's got a uh, AMD A8 APU in it so it's uh, 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 you know, it's uh, it's not a bad old laptop it's uh, running on probably about 3.2 3.4 gigahertz Jono uses it uh, uh, in the garage to entertain everyone while we're uh, uh, over and he's uh, cooking a barbecue and things like that and it's getting into summer so we want this thing working properly uh, so let's get stuck into it so here we are with Jono's laptop guys and uh, the uh, power is not working you can see that it says that it's 100% uh, fully charged, um, but uh, every time you unplug it, it just shuts off. Uh, Jono's done a little bit of research, and if you can see here, there's a little bit of a orange light flashing that um, uh, was indicated to him that it was an issue with the battery. Uh, so uh, he's passed it over to us, but before we uh, go in and open it up, we're just going to uh, test a couple of things and make sure uh, it's not something with the uh, power settings and then what we'll do is we'll do a power cycle um, and then what we'll do if that doesn't work is we will disconnect the internal battery and do another power cycle all that failing it'll look like we need a new battery so let's get stuck into it all right first things first we've got the power options here so you can see it's saying that it's at a hundred percent here um, and it's in balance mode so let's just check the battery setting balance is active and that looks pretty standard to me 10 minutes plugged in 20 minutes all right let's see what the battery say critical battery notification are on Critical battery options are hibernate. Well, you know what we'll do? Instead of playing around, let's restore the plan defaults first and see if that has any effect. So let's apply that. Okay. Let's see that. All right. So we've uh, reset the uh, power plan settings, which is the balance power plan settings to uh, normal. Uh, let's see if we can unplug the battery keep it going so yeah okay so as you can see when you unplug the battery there's no charge despite it saying it's fully charged while we're here while it's unplugged even though it's got an internal battery let's try doing a power cycle and making sure that it's not turning on so if we let's hold down the power button and that's not triggering the laptop to turn on so clearly we've got a bit of a battery issue but let's run through a power cycle anyway we'll just hold the power button for 30 seconds and we'll turn it back on and we'll uh run another power cycle a few moments later all right guys so uh at this point we have checked the uh power settings uh, it's still running at fully still saying it's fully charged while the battery has no charge in it uh, We've done a power cycle with the battery in let's power it down get it opened up and disconnect the battery and do a power cycle that way All right folks, we're gonna take a quick break from repairing Nono's computer because I got a really special shout out today uh, This video will be coming out on or close to my daughter Alyssa's birthday uh, she's turning seven so I just want to wish my special mate a very happy birthday dad loves you very much and this is why I love her she's the most supportive kid in the world um, she does stuff like that so if you can see there that is a game controller all right and then if you open it up uh, we've got a little switch in there and it says game over start again she's just an amazing talented 
beautiful young kid and she's got a really bright future ahead of her she's also a filmmaker um, in fact part of the reason we started computer games hardware is because uh, dad has a background in uh, theater and art and mum has a background in editing so we had all this stuff uh, sitting around our house and we told uh, Alyssa that you know we used to do all these kind of crazy things and the question she posed is why aren't you doing that now so uh, part of the reason we started computer games hardware is to get some you know creativity in and around the house and um, now Alyssa makes her own amazing movies and videos and shows them off to her friends and she come creates a uh, beautiful art like this and the one I just showed you so um, she's really into it she's really supportive and in fact in the set in computer games hardware on my wall I've got a whole wall of uh, Alyssa's special art but that's for me to see that's my personal collection so uh, maybe one day you'll get a sneak peek but we'll have to ask Alyssa uh, for that so uh, Lissy I love you very very much very happy birthday to you and I hope you get a kick out of seeing this video and dad loves you very much and I should also mention that uh, Lissy is the cheeky sneaky who put spider-man in the background of our first computer games hardware video um, and he stuck so that's why Spidey hangs out with me in these videos so Lissy thank you for always thinking of me putting Spidey in the back to keep me company happy birthday dad loves you and i wish all the very best from you from my heart to yours i love you buddy computer games hardware all right so let's get this bad boy open i like to go for the middle ones first just to know i've got them uh, and what i like to do guys if I, I have one of these little magnetic trays here so i always have that handy uh, this screw will be uh, holding place the uh, CD drive that's in this laptop. Yep, so this is back when that was still a thing. Alright, so that's all the screws out. And then you can see here we've got our disk drive. So you can see it comes out like that. Just gentle with it. Still works. Good disk drive. And as you can see here, there are three screws that we need to get out before we start taking off the uh, before we're taking off the base of the laptop base comes off the top so here we go just rub this bad boy down all the way make sure you have nothing connected to the laptop before you try and take it out so remove all your USBs and just go around the perimeter make sure that it comes off nice and easy so pop it up a little bit there, right there right down the end and this one is good to go so I'm just going to lift it out gently okay there we go and this is Jono's internals all right, we might have a look if we can upgrade the uh, RAM today as well, but here's what we're looking at today. All right, so this was manufactured in 07 of 2016, so uh, it is probably seen better days. What we're looking at here is the cable through to the battery. So you can unplug that, and then what we'll do is try another power cycle um, and see if that works. Hot tip, if you're ever looking at wires that are pasted down and stuff like that, all right, so you're seeing there's the uh, Wi-Fi module and stuff like that, and that's pasted down, that's uh, taped down, and you can see 
this cable here is taped down as well that's because that one's for the Wi-Fi and it's got delicate wires and that one is the screen so you don't want to be messing with those you don't want to break them you don't want to uh, take them out of place and that feeds through um, from the uh, uh, from the laptop base into the screen so uh, you don't want to mess with it uh, too much you want to make sure this one is actually broken but you can see that um, it used to be taped down there so uh, always be careful about that all right whenever you see tape it used to be very gentle and just check your wires so you can see there's little fragile wire here that's being connected and those are the sound I believe so because we've got the uh, blue dampers there so uh, you don't want to be messing with those and there's your um, uh, there's your connection for your um, optical drive and things like that so uh, pretty clean board uh, you can see how small the motherboard is in uh, these uh, older laptops not a lot going on in here but hey it's stood the test of time so hopefully the only thing we need is a battery replacement uh, but before we go and order, go ahead and order that let's do another power cycle with the existing battery disconnected So really handy here, making sure you don't disconnect anything else. Just make sure. Okay, all right. So that's the battery disconnected. Let's put the base back on just quickly, turn it over and give it a power cycle. All right. All right, so holding down the power button will uh, discharge the capacitors if you hold it down for 30 or so seconds and uh, when it boots up, it'll do a full power cycle. So uh, usually that resets any issues with the batteries and things like that. So let's get, give that a go and then if not, we'll take a look at a battery. A few moments later. All right, so as you can see there, all right, no battery present now that we can uh, reconnect this bad boy and uh, get some charge going. What we want to do now is just reconnect the battery and test it one more time. So always have your little plastic tool handy. All right, so that's back in. Okay and it doesn't look like we're getting any power all right so turn that on and you can see we've put the power back in and we have our little orange flashing light there so it doesn't look like it's going to power on uh, with the battery let's just check if it still boots up and it's still booting up pretty good when it's powered on it looks like it is time to replace the battery a little broken piece here as I was saying this little piece where the uh, hard drive comes in is a little bit busted you can see the little black bits on the table there um, so let's touch that up for John O2 let's give it a go see Someone's tried to do this before. All right. Good bond, baby. All right, so it's time to get this battery out. So first what we want to do is uh, disconnect this cable again. So off we go. Disconnect that cable. One thing I'm noticing here guys is that there is a couple of screws missing. So there's a screw missing there and a screw missing there. Interesting to see. Let's get those screws out. Alright. That'll hold the battery in no worries, these two screws. Yeah, so all 
right. I've got those screws out. Yeah. Let's just see. Let's be gentle. These ones lift, I think. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, as you can see, that is the battery module. Okay. So, that is our new battery module. And for this battery module, so a little bit of a difference. doesn't have a white dot on there. But uh, just for your information, pin side goes down. So, it'll connect in that way. So, uh, let's get this one put in and see if there's any change. Place the screws back where we found them. Nice and tight. Don't thread your uh, plastics. Uh, that looks pretty good. Everything lines up well. All right, let's get her reconnected. All right, we are in, and let's get in there. All right, we're looking good. All right, folks, so the battery's back in. Now that's all that's left to do is test. So before we get all the screws back on and get everything back in, let's plug her in and see how that went. And, guys, already good news. So, as you can see here, our little flashing uh, orange light is gone. And now it's indicating, I think, that it's charging. So, let's flip her over. And turn it on. Okay. Let's just push it down. So... Remembering we haven't got our hard drive in here and we haven't got all the screws on, but it is charging, so let's turn her on. All right, so she's turned on and look at that. She is charging. As you can see my two little indicators there. Okay. There you have it guys, alright, battery replacement has worked, um, we are charging, the battery's at 52%, so the real test for us, moment of truth, ho oh, ho 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 ho, those damn new battery vibes, we've done it folks, alright, there you go Jono, let's get this thing powered off, We'll uh, replace the screws, put the optical drive in, and then uh, it's highly recommended that you always charge a new battery to its fullest. So we'll put this on charge for a couple of hours, and then we can give it back to Jono. First thing first, screws that go behind the optical drive go back in. And when you put the optical drive in, it should slide in pretty straightforward but just make sure you hear okay we can circle back around all right one last check here guys turn it on power's not in I might add and it's looking like, job done, laptop saved. There we go. We got charge in our battery. 51 to charge. Now we're going to power it down. And plug it in. To let the battery get its full charge. Job done. Computer games hardware. All right, guys, so summer's been saved. We can go back to Jono's bar, watch some YouTube videos and old music videos of Jimmy Hendrix and some uh, fishing videos and stuff like that over some beers and barbecues. So hope John's going to be pretty happy with that. 
hope you've enjoyed watching it i've enjoyed making it for you so i'll keep making them if you keep watching them and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching catch you next time